Hi guys, it's Amanda from GC5 Estate Services. I am doing another video because we are in Chapel Hill this weekend and the volume in this house is just crazy. There's lots and lots and lots of stuff. I want you to have a really good idea of what's here before you come um, so that you can shop with confidence. This room is full of baskets. Lots and lots of baskets. Some of them were made in Jerusalem. Some of them are local artists. Some of them are North Carolina artists. Um, as I showed you in the hall just a few minutes ago, we have lots of art in this house. A lot of it um, is by an artist named Philip Philbeck, who is a North Carolina artist. So you can definitely look him up. Um, he's sold quite a bit. So, yeah. We've even staged bathrooms, as you can see. It's kind of crazy. Love, love, love the owl macrame. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to step into this room. There are two double beds, or two twin beds, I'm sorry. Um, in this room, there's a Remington rifle. Lots of turned wood bowls. Lots of turned wood in this house anyway. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. More books. Tons of those are cookbooks. Lots and lots of cookbooks. Um, that's a beautiful piece of furniture. More art. We call this the Wake Forest Room. One of um, the people that lived here actually worked at Wake Forest. So there's lots of Wake Forest University memorabilia. Those... Um, that's something we don't normally do. They're not going to be like that when you guys get here. Um, but they are prints of Phil Philbeck as well um, that we're going to figure out how we're going to display without them becoming damaged. Um, let's see what else. We'll scoot through here to this bathroom. It's a cute little wicker table there with some conch shells and starfish. Some great vintage clothing that I believe, I believe she actually made. Lots of cute tchotchke stuff. That's my tea from lunch. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, over here, we have tons of crafting stuff. Lots of um, pattern books with, like, coats and that kind of stuff in it. Um, tons and tons and tons of yarn and thread. Um, all that kind of stuff in there. Some macrame rope. Oh yeah, don't let me forget these guys. They're kind of fun too. And that's a natural sponge over there, which is kind of great. So yeah. Um, and then over here we have this great wicker shelf with lots and lots of linens. Um, a lot of this is hand done. It came from Jerusalem as well. They lived in Jerusalem for a while. Um, so there are some things that are indigenous to that part of the world. Um, lots of box sets of DVDs. So if you like Lost or Sex in the City or The Sopranos or Grey's Anatomy or 24, you're, you're in the right spot. Um, my favorite is the Hee Haw set. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Reminds me of being a kid with my granddaddy. Or, if you're from North Carolina, it'd be my granddaddy. <laughs> so, in here, we have the beginning of the bears. Um, lots and lots of bears. There are Teddy Rupskins, which is kind of like my time period. The ones on the bed actually have cassettes with them and batteries, in them, and they're supposed to work. The ones on the floor do not have cassettes. Some do not have battery cases either. Um, so yeah, more bears. Great furniture in here. More bears, more great vintage clothing. Those are reproduction maps that you see there. But they're still super cool. They were printed in the 60s office stuff. There's postcards in that pink bin. Um, this room actually had two double beds in it. 
Um, they were down when we got here and I did not put the other one back up simply because we needed the space. So those are two double beds made by Davis Cabinet Company. Most of the furniture in this room is by Davis Cabinet Com Company. Some great handbags and such. This closet has some fun things in it. If you like um, suspenders, yeah, he was your guy. Lots of fun suspenders. Marvin the Martian. Um, handbags. I think there's four um, coach bags up there, ladies, and they are real. Down here, we also have some dance goes. Um, the, the blue ones, they're a little hard to see, but those are new in the box. They've never been worn before. All right, let's see. Elf on the Shelf time is coming, people. Get ready. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we have. Here, speaking of Christmas, we have some Christmas bags and paraphernalia. Some great linens, great afghans, quilts, that kind of stuff. And I'm going to step back here. We have um, a great bookshelf. More bears, another bookshelf, lots of LPs on that bookshelf, plus there's also um, photo, or not photo albums, yearbooks, um, from Wake Forest University mostly, I believe. And they are pretty much from the 50s to the 80s. More bears, and two twin beds, it's hard to see them, they're beautiful though. Um, as far as the bears go, there is a huge variety. They're not all bears. Some of them are just animals. A lot of gunned um, over in this area. And Eden. Some Vermont, I think. And then up there would be the Vermont Teddy Bear Company. Robert Reiki's. There's some Ewoks over there, too. Pooh Bears, Paddington. And down here in the cases are going to be the Stife Bears. And she does have the boxes that came with them and the original prices that she paid for them. Um, so those are, those are fun. You don't see Stifes and you don't see Stifes in this volume every day. <laughs> that is for sure. Um, let's see what else we can find. Okay, we've got this great organ and sheet music here. Oh boy, I'm in the reflection. That's never good. Okay, there's a great piece of art. He's huge. It's at least six feet. I'm guessing it's probably closer to seven. Those are puppets. And here we have a utility closet. Over here we have another closet. It's got books. Got a bang, is it Bang and Olufsen um, turntable? A ton more LPs, more art, super cool tree trunk stool. Over there we do have a, a small senior sewing machine. Lots and lots of fun stuff. So Wake Forest University chair. That is a super cool hat rack, coat rack. Um, it's it's a log. It's really heavy. Okay, let's make our way through. Pardon our mess. We're still pricing. Um, got this closet. With some cute stuff. Photographs. Super 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 tea cart. And a great coffee grinder. Some big bin clocks. Some mask. And we'll go ahead and start in here. There's some great brass trays. And the legs, the tables to go with them. Also, lots and lots of mask. Those are fun. Lots of brass. There is some Jerusalem pottery over there. If you guys know anything about Jerusalem, 1950s pottery, it's pretty great. 
Okay, that's kind of fun. I'm not, I was going to play it, but I'm not even going to attempt. Camel seat. More books. There's a few cookbooks there as well. Um, components and LPs. Got some great Barrister bookshelves, bookcases with the glass doors. The camels on that far one are leather. They lived in Jerusalem for a while. I think I said that already. But, um, yeah. It's a great, fun vintage sofa. Um, Fastoria. Early American pattern, I believe, is what it is. A great natural um, tree coffee table. It's a beautiful chair. Out here we have... Um, well, lots and lots of jars. And if rescuing plants is your thing, well, you need to be in Chapel Hill because we have plenty to rescue. Over here, another bookshelf with CDs. A really, really great um, Philip Philbeck print here. This one is, I believe it's called a Geely type print. And um, it's actually an artist proof. Which is kind of cool. So there's that. And we'll step out into this beautiful sunroom. We have this great bamboo table and chair set. Super fun driftwood lamp with a basket weave shade, some jadeite, some depression. Storage bins, great dough bowl, great pottery. There's a lot of pottery in this house, guys, a lot. More baskets. I think that's some more Jerusalem pottery. There's a great cactus that if you buy, I'm going to let you load it, which is awesome. <laughs> um, and then we have tons and tons of CDs. Yay, now we'll step into the dining room. Some great chairs. A ton more fill fill back. Bookshelf with some great knickknacks, mortars, some pottery. We've got this super fun guy. Isn't he great? And that copper plate. Cuckoo clock. That works because it's cuckooed all week long. It's kind of made me cuckoo. All right, some more Fostoria, some more Phil Philbeck, more glass, and on this dining room table we have Sterling. We have a ton of bolos. <coughs> you know those Western type ties. Some turquoise. <coughs> Excuse me, you would know that I would need to cough now. She liked witches. <coughs> so you can get your Halloween on. Super fun stuff. Check out this set. I just think they're really cool. Look at the bottoms. Aren't they fun? John's gonna kill me. I'm wasting time on one item. <laughs> um, that yellow pot that's turned upside down is actually dansk. It's really nice. And we've got some turn wood bowls. A great um, mid-century credenza server. Something like that. Cast iron, cookbooks. The pottery over there is all Pigeon Forge. There's a Keurig. There's a Vermont, um, that's the cuckoo clock going off. But some Vermont milk bottles. Let's step out here into 
the garage. The garage has tons and tons of stuff. Like, even as you come out the door, there's stuff hanging. Um, so, yeah, here we've got more baskets, cleaning products, bottles, ladders, little bamboo shelf, great bookshelves. Check out that swag lamp. It's kind of cool. Yeah, just tons and tons of stuff. Some ramps. There's Christmas on the other side of that table. Not a ton, but some. And then over here we have this super cool... This is an oven. And a stove. It's really cool. It weighs a ton. We brought it up from the basement that we've already cleaned out. Okay, guys, so this is it for this weekend. Um, we are in Chapel Hill. It is, if you are driving from Raleigh or Wake Forest or Youngsville or Rocky Mount or Henderson, trust me when I tell you it is without question worth the drive and worth your time. Um, we start Friday, 5 till 8. Saturday, we're here from 8 until 2. And then Sunday, we're here from 12 until 4. And the remaining items, for the most part, should be 50% off on that day, just so you know. But I'm going to tell you, I would come early because we are expecting the crowds. We've gotten calls already about certain items. And some of the stuff you don't see every day, so it won't be available next week. All right, guys, thank you so much. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call or shoot us an email. Have a great night.